My name is Jessica Boruashira. I'm a caregiver and a parent to a child with Down syndrome called Ibiduta Moraidi. I'm here for a UDPK training on social media and advocacy through social media, which so far will enable our children to be able to have a voice for themselves and also encouraging and advocating for inclusion in our, in our society and also in the government, in the work of places. As a parent, uh, my urge is we also be in a space that we can be able to also support our children, do content creation, be able to speak for themselves and be able to raise a voice that we may create a better future. And we also help the young parents coming up as youths, them, the advocates, the advocates as youths so that they can be able to also raise a voice and also be a role model to the young children, to the upcoming children, parents with young kids, and we also videos and minimize stigma. Hello, um, my name is Nicholas Dongo. I'm a Prince Autism Kenya and also the Mr. Autism Kenya 23. I'm here in um, uh, We Can Work for UDPK and what I've learned is that I can have catchy posts in my social media. I have learned that we can have uh, great content but with that catchy information, it will not gonna make sense. And uh, I'm also dyslexic. I do advocacy for dyslexia. So I have to empower other youth who have dyslexia and also autism. Hello, my name is Katrina Nyambura. I'm a disability advocate from Nairobi. I am so grateful to UDPK through the We Can Work program that has selected me to be one of the change influencers for the weekend work. Uh, during the three days that we have been here training on how to be better influencers, I have learned things I didn't know. I am already in the digital space, but I didn't know much about the ethics, the responsibilities, uh, inclusion of diverse disabilities when I'm posting my content. So I found out there are areas that I needed to change so that I can be inclusive of several disabilities anytime I'm posting content. And that will help me to be a better influencer for the society because I can re easily reach my target audience. My name is Nathaniel Mudomi. I work with Wizena Consultancy. We support organizations in capacity building, especially towards disability inclusion. So for the th last three days, we've been doing a training on social behavior change through communication. And why is this training important? It's important because we want to achieve um, how the community treats or perceives persons with disabilities out there. So we want to use uh, the youth with diverse disabilities as agents of change so that we achieve the agenda. Because um, once they share their stories out there, then people will be able to listen and um, you know, their behavior will change in terms of the perceptions. So what we realize from this training is that uh, the youth with disabilities have a lot of talent and they have a lot of resources. Why are we saying this? The talent they have is that some can use you know, art, others can use you know, sports, others can use their experiences, can, they can tell their story. And which other resources do they have? They have social media platforms, for example, uh, like TikTok, Twitter, you know, those are some, and Facebook, those are some of the top um, social media platforms that are being used. So we can say that such content that they have, then they can use it in, on their social media platforms and then tailor make it now that uh, um, they have the, the platforms, tailor make it to become you know, to communicate the message of change to the community. So that is why we are saying that they have a lot of resources. And uh, we also learned that um, another group of key people that we need to engage are the caregivers and parents of youth with uh, disabilities because we realize that it's, they are also a resource in terms of uh, supporting their youth, their children, to become change agents. So we are hoping that once they learn these skills that we've taught them today, because it's quite a variety in terms of how to engage, uh, how to come up with the content, you know, how to make sure that the content is interactive, inclusive, 
then they'll be able to share on their own. So we've come up with individual um, advocacy objective and we've trained them on some of the uh, strategies they can uh, utilize to achieve their objective. We are hoping for the best. We'll keep supporting them on areas where they need and uh, doing some follow-ups so that they achieve this agenda. I know this is a powerful way of ensuring that change is happening in our communities. Thanks so much, UDPK and partners.